Well, if you can stand a little bit of road noise from Harvin Road out front here, I'd like to share my few minutes with you today out here on the front stoop of the Lighthouse Chapel. It's kind of a nice day and I figure I need to be out here soaking in some of this sunshine, breathing in some of this fresh air. I was thinking earlier today, we had our lawn service yesterday here at the Lighthouse Chapel. Uh, God has blessed us with such a wonderful property here and uh, we just have enough room that if we want to go out and have church out on the uh, lawn, well, uh, we can do that. And the hillside there behind the church makes an excellent place for pastor to give a sermon on the mount. So we had the great outdoors. I often say, you know, the green grass for the carpet, the blue skies for the ceiling, the lovely shrubs for the decor, and hopefully a nice gentle breeze for the air conditioning. How blessed we are to live in such a world that we live in. Now we have a quite beautiful sanctuary, very modest. Uh, if we were to compare it with others, we would have to say that it's quite unpretentious, but uh, nonetheless, it's a very neat little building and we keep it up very well to the very best that we possibly can. And uh, I believe that all in all, it's just a real comfortable place to gather together to worship the Lord. And I think about, you know, the buildings that we have created and and the way that we have furnished them. We've been able to create some beautiful buildings. We've been able to create some uh, decor and other things that enhance the beauty of the building. But there's nothing that man does that can compare with what God has done. And as I think about, you know, the, the buildings that we build and, and uh, the projects that we work on, Sometimes we're just pretty proud of what we have accomplished. And indeed, there are skilled craftsmen that can produce uh, really works of art, so to speak. And, and uh, you know, just the sculpture and the artwork and, and the architect that we see in today's world can sometimes be quite marvelous and sometimes even somewhat breathtaking. But compare the work of man to the work of God in creation. God has created such a beautiful world and you know I think about the poet that said uh, trees are made or poems are made by fools like me but only God can make a tree and when I mar marvel at the uh, beauty of this world today man cannot make anything that even compares with its beauty when I think of the miraculous fascination that we see in nature today Man cannot duplicate that nature. We simply cannot duplicate the fascination of plant life and, and other forms of life on the earth. God has done a marvelous job in creating the earth. And I appreciate the beauty of the earth. I appreciate all the wonders of the earth and all that is therein, it belongs to God and it's the work of his hands. So we may boast about that beauty that we are able to create with our skills and our knowledge and expertise, but we can do nothing that can compare to the handiwork of God. I appreciate God's wonderful handiwork, the way that it inspires us, the way that it helps us to realize that mere man cannot compare with God, nor the things that we do can compare with God. Well, thanks for letting me share, and I'll see you tomorrow here on the Lord Lights Devotion with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.